Today we're going to be discussing Taco to Amo, commonly translated to the dream of the fisherman's wife. Yes, this is one of Hokusai's most influential color woodblock prints. Made in 1814, it lies six and a half by eight and three quarter inches. Taco to Ama is an example of Shunga Yukoi. Wait, what are those? Well, Yukoi literally translated as floating world, where mass producible prints were popular during the Edo and Meiji periods. Shunga is a type of Yukoi that typically depicts erotic situations. But only the rich people owned Yukioi, right? Actually, yukioi could be found among all classes, much to the distaste of the shogun. They were a sign of increasing modernization and were easily accessible to the public, oftentimes even carried as good luck charms. I see. In Takoda Ama, we see a pearl diver, or an ama, engaged in a sensual interaction with two octopi. One is performing kana... Kanalingus. Oh, thanks. And the other is kissing her and holding her breast. Uh, what is ama? The word ama can be translated to women of the sea. They've been diving as far back as 759 BCE, oftentimes going for long stretches without air in order to harvest various items from the murky depths. Most ama divers are female, and it is a profession oftentimes passed down the generations. Historically, ama have been key fighters for independence and equality. Even during more traditional time periods, the Ama were still seen as strong and self-sufficient, since their jobs provided them with everything they needed without help from men. There have been certain problems that have arisen with Western scholars in this piece. Because modern-day tentacle pornography is so non-consensual, it makes sense to assume that this could be a rape scene, especially when taken into account that those were so also common amongst Shunga. However, many of the scholars who claim this had not read the text in the background, which strongly suggests mutual enjoyment. The most common translation is written by James Heaton and Toyoshima Mizuho, and is as follows. <clears throat> the large octopus on the left says, My wish comes true at last, this day of days. Finally, I have you in my grasp. Your bobo is ripe and full, how wonderful superior to all others, to suck and suck and suck some more. After we do it masterfully, I'll guide you to the dragon palace of the sea god and envelop you. Hold on. At the beginning, the larger octopus mentions the dragon palace of the sea god. Is that a reference to something? Yes, that would be Ryujin, the dragon god of the sea from Japanese mythology. In one of the most popular legends, an ama diver named Princess Tom Tori goes underwater in search of a pearl stolen from her husband's family by Ryujin. She successfully obtains the pearl, which she places inside a self-inflicted cut on her breast so as to swim faster, and she dies from her wounds a hero when she returns to land with the pearl. So this is what Tako to Ama depicts? It's very possible. Princess Tom Tori's story was commonly depicted during Japan's Edo period, and it would make sense for the princess, a diver, to fall in love with the sea, an entity typically viewed in Japanese culture as female. In conclusion, Tako to Ama is one of the most influential and thought-provoking pieces of art, though some may consider it vulgar, though same people often fail to see the beauty in legend, the unexpected or taboo, and the importance of positive female sexuality. Mm -hmm.